I've had uh, these new speakers since just about December the 1st, maybe a few days before. I got them just about a week before my birthday when I turned 75. They're Zoo Audio, and those are great people over there. There's not much on YouTube about Zoo Audio. They put up a few videos, and I'm happy to give them a little promotion here on YouTube, and a few people maybe are interested in these speakers. They're terrific speakers. One of the things I like about them is they're so direct, so... Uh, there's no middleman, so you get a lot for your value. The base model of these speakers with the standard finish is $4,500. You can get custom finishes, which I ordered this green custom finish. And uh, that's one of the things that's nice about them. They're all made in America. The cabinets made in America. They're finished up there in uh, Utah. Ogden, Utah. Uh, the tweeter is made in California. They do the uh, full range drivers themselves. So one of the things that was interesting about these, the guy that started the Zoo Audio com Company, him and a partner who is now deceased, started out doing engineering research for a motorcycle company uh, about pulse technology on high-performance exhaust systems on motorcycles. Well, I'm an old motorcycle guy. I raced motorcycles part-time for 10 or 12 years. Uh, I built and tuned my own engines. I had a little familiarity with uh, exhaust system design. They found out, you know, piston going up and down pulsing, speakers going in and out pulsing. They found out that the technology from high-performance motorcycle systems fit exactly with high-performance speaker cabinets. I'll give you a little more of a close-up on this, but when you see this is it has a full-range driver, 10 and a quarter inch, has a whizzer cone with a machine phase plug in the middle, and that combination gives you a little sound, a little bit like a horn, and I like the idea of a full range driver. Years ago, I had gotten a pair of speakers. I bought just the speakers, 12 inch uh, coaxial speakers with a tweeter in the middle. And then finally I got around to designing and building a cabinet for them. And man, they were great sounding speakers. One of the problems with speakers is crossover design. A lot of complication there, a lot of compromises. Well, if you have a full range driver, don't have any crossover, so you don't have any compromises. This tweeter doesn't come on till 12,000 hertz. Wow. Uh, these speakers look similar to the, one of their other designs called Soul Superfly, and it may be the only difference in the design is the tweeter. Uh, people would think they're the same. They look very similar. The difference is the Soul Superfly, the tweeter maybe weighs a couple of pounds. The tweeter uh, in this unit, made in California, weighs 20 pounds. The speakers weigh 70 pounds. One of the other things I liked about these speakers is, is that uh, they are not so critical on positioning in the room because they're ported on the bottom. They have like four ports on the bottom, and so there's sound coming out all over. Now, I have not taken or had the time yet to experiment with placement on these, but because what comes out the bottom is so important, they come with two different kinds of uh, feet one for a hard surface and one for carpet spikes. I got the carpet spikes on them and they have to be at least 3 8 inch clearance on the bottom to let the sound out and I'm thinking with the carpet I'm getting a lot of damping there and even though I have the space proper uh, one of the things I've seen people do is set these on uh, like some butcher block or another thing I saw you go over to Home Depot, you can get some ceramic tiles that are 24 inch by 24 inch, and that gives a lot of surface around the edge of the speakers. 
and I'm going to get probably some of them 24 by 24 inch tiles and try them, but so far been having too much fun listening to music, haven't uh, got around to messing with that. So uh, it's, uh, it's hard to listen to speakers uh, because there aren't stores that have very big supply of speakers anymore. One of the things about this company, their direct mail order, and they got a 30-day guarantee. If you don't like them, you ship them back and they'll refund your money. Uh, I don't think they hardly ever get a pair back. They don't have these in stock. When you order them, they start making them. Uh, so it takes uh, maybe six weeks or so after you order before you get them. And uh, boy, i just been really happy with them. So how did I find out about them in the first place? Probably could have did a better job with this. Soul Zoo's Soul Supreme. They were on the cover of Stereophile magazine. Uh, this was last year. Of course, they put the label over the year thing. I don't see when it was. So this issue's maybe five, six, seven, eight months ago. If you're interested, you can go to the website and check them out. Uh, yeah, most of the stuff that where they review stuff in Stereophile and the other magazines, just a bunch of gobbledygook. They can't say anything really negative because uh, the magazine exists from the uh, advertisements that they sell in the pages. Well, these guys, I don't think, advertise anywhere. They're sold direct. I felt the reviewer gave a really good review of them and uh, you, you try to translate what some of these uh, audio file words they use are and I determined that uh, these speakers were just what I was looking for and I'm very happy with them. We'll try to get a little more of a close-up here. See that uh, phase plug, and uh, maybe you can see the wizard cone. Get down low here. We can get back far enough to do this. You can see my hand under here. We got a port on each side, long rectangular kind of port. Get a little shot of the back here. Uh, of course, they have the five-way binding posts, but they have a special speaker connection. I think it's called Speak On, made by another company. Gives you a better connection and a better sound. Zoo Audio also makes speaker cables. This is kind of their base cable. I wanted 12-foot long ones, so I didn't have to worry about where to place stuff. Makes them a little bit more expensive. I think these were around $450. And some of uh, you may say, holy cow. But uh, I had pretty good cables on my other system. And when these speakers came, the cables were shipped separately. And so I used my other cables because I couldn't wait to listen. And then I went out on the porch and there was a package that had the speaker cables in it. So without changing anything, just unhooking one cable and plugging in the other cable, yeah, uh, fairly dramatic difference in the improvement in the sound. That's with playing the same track, the amplifier set the same. Uh, of course, one speaker may be slightly more efficient than the other one or something, but it did make a difference and uh, I'm just really happy uh, with these speakers. Here's a little distant shot of my setup. I'll do a whole room video one of these days and hook all of the pieces together. One of the things I said was that these speakers aren't so critical to placement and that's because of the ports on the bottom and the way the speakers are designed. Uh, another thing I could say about that is off-axis response is quite good and so my uh, 
camera I'm holding it just about where the sweet spot is here but uh, these things yeah you don't get the big 3d sound stage if you get different places in the room but you can be anywhere in the room and they still sound good so highly recommended After I got these speakers, uh, I did a little more research and I found something that might be interesting to you folks and something to think about before you buy something like this, something I should have thought about. I mentioned these tweeters don't come on to 12,000 hertz, so you don't exactly have a cross over here, but there's a, like a resistor and a capacitor or something so that these things don't come on to 12,000 hertz. Well, doing a little research on the internet, the first thing I found was said if you're over 60, you probably can't hear 10,000 hertz. If you're over 50, uh, you can't hear 12,000 hertz. So, of course, we know that there's more to the music than just what we hear. But they also sell one of these speakers, I believe, that don't have any tweeter at all. And for us old folks, probably a good chance we couldn't tell the difference. Uh, I happen to be, I think, very lucky. Uh, my hearing is still quite good. And one of the things I did, I found some test tones on the internet, and I didn't mess around very much. But I wanted to see if I could hear these tweeters. So I put on a 13,000 hertz test tone. Yeah, I could hear it. Uh, normally my uh, volume on my amp is around 9 o'clock. I had to turn it up to about 12 o'clock, get it loud enough. Uh, so, well, I felt better about my purchase then. I can hear at least 13,000 hertz. I didn't try to see if I could hear anything else, but... Uh, of course, there's something added to the music, whether we hear it or not. But if you're trying to be price conscious, value conscious, uh, getting the Soul Superflies might satisfy you. And I don't know what the other version is called without any tweet at all, uh, somewhat less. And you might just be very happy with those. So it pays to do your research first.